Well, good afternoon. I hadn't been here in a while. Had had some kind of rough days. Chemo's tomorrow. Seems that I've, I don't know, I lose time, man, after chemo. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've been crocheting, and, you know, the holidays are fixing to be on us because we're entering the last, well, we're in the last week of September, which means October, November, December. And I'm really, really trying hard to get things done so I can do what I'm hoping to do for everybody for a Christmas. So, I've been making ornaments. I already told y'all I was making ornaments, I think. So, I'm going to show you some I've done. I've been having a blast. I think y'all have already seen little angels that I've been making. See, there is a little angel. Get her up here where you can see her maybe a little bit better. It's her little wings. Anyway, I got a bag full. Uh, not as many as I need or intend to have. Here's another one. She turned out really good. Kind of see, it's this little angel. Now, I got those done. And then I found another little pattern that was just easy, easy, easy. And again, my astonishment, they worked. So a skein gave me 24 of these. I hadn't put the little hangers on them yet. But they're going to be little bells. Whoops. Whoa. Let me get it, Frank. Right, thank you, man. Here we go. You can see the little bell now. See? And I'm going to put little dinger things in, little jingle bells in them. I've got a couple of those that I've already jingle belled. There's one. And uh, I put a little glitter on it. I don't know if you can really tell on the camera. Probably not. But I added the little jingle bell under there. So it'll make its little noise. This is one I was just screwing around, you know, and... Sometimes you do that and just see what, ooh wee, what can I get if I add this here and I do that. So I have one that is a, an angel bell combination. I don't know, man. Uh, well, I don't even know if she's an angel. She doesn't have wings on the back, does she? Okay, excuse me, because I dropped that one and Frank wants it. He likes anything that makes noise. Thank you, Frankie. Let me get over here again, man. Thank you. That's a good boy. Now. I've shown you those. Let me watch my time up there. Also, I have, here we are, here we are, um, another bag that I've been putting. These are my just bells that are, oh, well, here's one that has the little, little bottom. It's a different color. Um, this was another one. This was the tiny little end scraps of the variegated yarn that I had. And let's see, where's this one that's the coolest color? This is the coolest color. Check that out now. Ha! Uh, but it's another little, I've got a, another bag of bells over here. Now, uh, another thing that I was doing when I was experimenting is I found this, which uh, I'm going to probably keep for my own tree. But check it out, man. I made a pine cone. Isn't that the coolest little thing you've ever seen? And I need some for my tree because most of those are gone. Also, I'm making, and I've got to stiffen and, and I'll probably glitter a little bit. But crosses, I think those are pretty with the open work. Here, let's see. Hold it that way and you can see it a little bit better. I think those are pretty. And then these I did playing. I uh, had some of the crochet thread. And I thought, hmm. I bet I can't work with that. And then I decided, you know, I bet I can do anything I want to do. So I made this little angel with the little thread. Isn't she pretty? And your size of your angel depends on your hook. Now this was a size 20 thread. So it's a little bit larger. But I made her also. So then you see I have two different little sizes here. And that's because of the difference in my hook. Now this was a size 20 thread and it's just a tiny little angel and to give you a difference in size there's the first one there's the last one and I just had so much fun with these anyway uh, life is good God has taken great care of me I'm doing well tomorrow will be chemo I'll have a good breakfast or actually kind of a lunch thing when I get there I have discovered you ask for crisp crisp bacon 
two pieces of bread, a little mayonnaise. Get some orange juice to drink and a couple things of milk. Man, I'm good to go. It's a good thing. They can make the bacon fine. They make it crispy all over. They don't make it burned. And I don't like bacon that's um, yuck that you can see the fatty part is, is still white and chewy. Can't handle that. So, anyway, there you go. I think I've probably run out of time. I'm not sure, but we're going to try and post this one up. I love y'all. God loves you. Have a great day. And if you don't know him, it's time to get it right because, man, it's looking bad. But, he says, be not afraid. God will take care of it. No need to worry. Fear is not from God. Thank you so much, and y'all have a good one. Bye.